what's going on guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always welcome back to some more reactions of the walking dead season three we're going to be starting at episode 10 today i'm gonna to try to knock out two episodes two more episodes for y'all i'm gonna try to do episode 10 and 11 um i'm gonna be doing a ton of reactions today so i'm so this might not come out until tomorrow because with i want to just record everything and just then I can schedule stuff for tomorrow or late tonight. Who knows? I don't know what time I'm going to finish reacting today because I have a ton of reactions to do, especially for the TV shows. So I want to record TV shows and some anime today. So let's just jump into it because I, I want to make the most of the time that I have. So I want to go see the aftermath of what happened after that spaz, spazzing out by Rick. <clears throat> This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Hopefully, they address it. Um, you know, I don't know how the other people are going to respond now that they realize that he's hallucinating. So, I don't know. I think it's just, it's trauma. It's trauma that's causing this. It's not like he's actually crazy. It's just trauma. Trauma happens. PTSD. He's losing his mind because he lost his wife. And now it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like she's haunting him in some sort of way so i just want to go see what happens man i know you guys want to go see too you probably clicked off the video already but anyways guys you already know um if you want to support the channel there's donation links in in the description so i just want to let you guys know that if you just want to support there's a patreon there if you just want to support um um there's a tier there for three dollars a month if you want to you know whatever <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys for the review. All right, so here we are, episode 10 and 11 in the bag. We got, what, five more episodes to go for the season? We got 16 episodes for the season. So, um, we're on the brink. I'm glad that Daryl and not necessarily Merle, but I'm glad I'm glad that we have the the re, the uh the reuniting Andrea went there to to see them so now we got that out of the way cuz we was waiting on that to happen somehow some way we wanted to get back together unfortunately it's not in the best of situations but what can you do you know what I mean um great 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 couple of episodes we just watched in my opinion um it, it comes down to you know kind of like the mid part of the season where things kind of you want you want things to pick up but at the same time you know they kind of give you those those episodes to to kind of try to carry the story throughout that amount of episodes so we're not going to get a ton of action but you're going to get a lot of setup so i'm expecting that if you watch tv we watch TV for a long time, you know, you get used to to watching um, serialized um, series, um, not serialized TV shows where you in the seasons you watch in and you realize that the, the, the seasons will start out hype like you're ready for the season. You know what I'm saying? You'll get some hype moments to set up what is going to happen for the season. Then you have that transition in the season it might seem slow and the pacing might be terrible because you know they're trying to stretch it out for for that amount of episodes um and then they pick things back up closer to the end maybe three or four episodes towards the end of the season so i'm used to it i'm used to seeing that um i think they did a very good job with the pacing addressing what happened what what is happening with rick i don't i still don't think he's over you know, I, I'm glad that Herschel called him out finally, both just man to man and in front of everybody. So I'm glad that they did that. That was brilliant writing. You get what I'm saying? Because he didn't approach him in front of everybody at first, but, you know, talk to him man to man to find out what is happening with him. Um, and I'm glad that they use Herschel as that voice of reason, because probably Herschel is the only one in the group that Rick would probably listen to. 
um, out of everybody. To be honest, I think he's the only one. I think he's a perfect person because they have great chemistry on screen. And also, I think Rick kind of looks up to Urschel in some sort of, I don't want to say fatherly. I don't want to say that. More of like a just an older person, respect your elders kind of way where, you know what I'm saying? They've been together for a while now, so totally understandable. Glenn's situation is a different situation. He just needs to calm his little ass down. Like, at this point, like, at this point, I'm saying, we know you've been through some stuff, or, you know what I'm saying? You got some Panani now and all of that good stuff, but you still need to understand, you're not Rick, bruh. <laughs> you're not Rick. You're not Shane. You're not Daryl. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm not, you know, he's changed a lot. He's changed a lot. He has one of the better arcs, one of the better um, arcs um, or character development, I should say, in um, the Walking Dead story. So I can't sit here and make it seem like Glenn has not developed some, you know, but I, I didn't like how we approached the situation with Maggie. And that's the reason why, you know, he's young, probably his first girlfriend. So I, you know, so I, t I understand. You know what I mean? Um, that he wouldn't be know how to handle a situation like that. For me, in my situation, if I was in that situation, the way I, I would approach it is not, if I want to find out what happened, he should have came with a softer attitude. You get what I'm saying? His attitude wasn't right coming into the conversation. You know what I'm saying? And then when she started talking, that's when he wanted to calm, you know, kind of calm down. And stuff like that. But as I said, I, I, I talked about it during the episode, you know, how I felt about the situation, that interaction that happened. Like, he shouldn't have walked away, even though she's told him to go away. That's the time for you to, to really, you know, talk to her and say, listen, you know, Maggie, I love you. And this is not how we're going to deal with this. If we're going to get past this, we need to talk about this. You get what I'm saying? So... I'll leave now if you don't want to talk right now, but eventually we are going to have to talk like talk about this. You know what I'm saying? Um, we, You know, that's just how I would approach it. I don't think he should have just walked away because there's no. There was no assurance for her at the end of that conversation. There was no. Are you still with me? You get what I'm saying? And you have to leave that when it comes to women, you have to make them secu security is extremely important to women so you have to especially you know with the relationship you have to let them know you know what i'm saying let them understand I, they need to know they need to hear you say it <laughs> okay um so that's my two cents on that merle coming in um hopefully he does change i'm rooting for him hope he doesn't do anything foul he's not with that racist bullshit like i think the situation that happened when he saw what, you know, he didn't know that his dad was abusing Daryl. Also, I think that's who they were talking about. Um, I think that kind of switch turned the switch in his head somehow. He kind of apologized to Michonne, but I don't know how Michonne feels feels about that. So we'll see what happens next. They're building an army over in Woodsbury. Andrea tried to come over, try to negotiate with Rick. Rick wasn't having it, and Truth be told, no matter what Rick does, the governor is going to attack him. He's lying. And the thing about Andrea is, what is she going to do now? Is she going to attack her friends? Is that what she's going to do? It, it, she decided not to kill him. Is she choosing a side? What is going to happen? So I don't know. So I'll see you guys for episode 12, man. Um, these two episodes were great. As I said, the pacing was good very good pacing for a for episodes that didn't really have any action um we had that scene where they broke into the prison where they broke into the prison the the um the other guys that had left where i was saying there's a kind of a, like a plot hole but it's not really a plot hole it's more of like i didn't expect them to leave you get what i'm saying i thought they would have understood that rick was just going nuts and probably you know what i'm saying so i didn't know they to leave they didn't show them leaving or anything so i just assumed they were still there but in any case they're in woodsbury now they got found when andrea was leaving with milton so 
they're over there now and they, you know what I'm saying, they'll do anything to get some shelter. Um, so they'll even go up against Rick them. So, uh, so I don't know what's going to happen now, man, but I'm looking forward to it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I'll see you guys for episode 12 and 13 for the next reaction. Thank you guys so much, man. Remember to like, subscribe if you're new, and also leave a comment in the comment section, man. There's more Walking Dead to come. See you guys later. Peace.